Alright everyone, in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of this generic 4-port SATA card which I purchased from Amazon for £35, so that actually costs more than the motherboard that I'm going to be using. <laughs> How typical. So supposedly it's made by IOCrest, which is weird because the manufacturer I bought it from was a company called Cyber, or Siba, S-Y-B-A. Who knows, it's some generic Chinese thing. Whatever, the chipset is the same, which is the Marvel 9230, and it can provide RAID support for RAID 0, RAID 1, or RAID 10. I'll probably be using it as a JBOD, just a bunch of disks. Let's take a look at it. So starting with a look at the box, well you've got the picture of the item. You've got mentioned here of the chipset, which is the Marvel 9230. Looking at the back of it, you can see the different ranges that they sell and the number of SATA ports that they provide and whether it does RAID or not interesting, I may have been able to get a cheap one if I'd been able to get that anyway so it mentions about being able to support up to SATA 6 gigabit a second or SATA 3 that is and being able to do RAID RAID 0, RAID 1 or RAID 10 system requirements mentions Linux kudos to them, well done Inside we get a couple of SATA cables, very nice, a low profile bracket, a user manual, warranty information, and here oh, a small CD probably containing the drivers, the anti-static bag, and inside, let's see what we get. Oh that's very nice the way they put that in there. Come on, get out. And that's it, so you've got the PCIe X2 slot, but that will go in an X16 slot as well, there's no problem there. Small heatsink on the Marvel chipset there, and the ports are on the side. So two SATA ports there, and another two SATA ports there, so at least you can be able to run a card right next to it and not be cramped on the space. Here's a picture of the card inside my NAS. And I have to say it works absolutely fine with Ubuntu Server version 14.04. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.